All right, so we're gonna scan in our uh, amiibo first thing. Crom. Deal Lance. Okay, Crom. I feel like you could have given us something better, but. A spear. Thanks, Lucina. They're just giving us weapons. Ike gave us some gauntlets. Here's here's Robin slash Scum Dad. Arcane Crystal. Marth gave us a tomahawk. Alright. Well, those are our gifts for today. What if the Krom Amiibo got you a carrot, though? Uh, we would all laugh. Hey, Sidian, how are you? How are you guys enjoying the game? I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm not sure which... Like, I'm not sure how many streams of it we've done so far. Probably like five, six, something like that. A few. Hmm. Monica and Huber, huh? All right. There you are, Hubert. I've been searching everywhere for you. And to what end? Has Her Majesty summoned me? Oh, she would never use me for a task like that. I just wanted to thank you, albeit reluctantly. I do not recall having done anything that would merit such a sincere display of gratitude. Well... You probably just saw it as part of your normal administrative duties. You fixed quite a big mistake in my last report before Her Majesty had the chance to look at it. I woke up in a panic when I realized what I had done. Imagine how mortified I was to see you'd already corrected everything. Ah, yes. I may have done something of the sort. As Her Majesty's loyal servant, it is my duty to pare down the number of... Unnecessary matters which wander across her desk. He just editing I everyone's say, I was reports. surprised to see you make such a foolish and obvious error. Have you truly grown so lax, even as you style yourself the greatest of our emperor's retainers? Wow. I'm aware of the mistake Steve. I made, but I would never dream of calling myself something like that. Well, Perhaps I said it once or twice in the heat of the moment, but I never actually meant it. If anyone is Her Majesty's best retainer, it's you. And without Bruce. House Vestra's say-so, I could never become one of her servants. <sighs> At present, I very much doubt you are fit to serve as Her Majesty's servant. Excuse me? It is true oh that I did not make a conscious choice to serve Her Majesty at first. Instead, I simply did it because my father decreed it must be so. But such bounds no longer define our relationship. I do not serve the Emperor. My loyalty is to Lady Edelgard and her alone. I stand with her in a manner that goes beyond the bounds of ruler and servant. Do you understand this? I want to be like that with Her Majesty as well. Um. And I am only the child of a baron, so I don't have excuses to linger in the palace all the time. I have to return to my family's estate once I've fulfilled my duties for the day, and I get summoned back to our territory often. I am not like you. I cannot just be at her side unless I have a good reason to be there. Indeed. Ox territory is in the far west of the Empire. I surmise you have had to spend much of your time away from Enbar. Furthermore, you will be a Baron one day. Your duties will prevent you from dedicating yourself solely to Her Majesty. Exactly. 
Unlike you, I have an entire territory's worth of people to protect. But I still won't give up. Even from afar. No. Precisely because I'll be afar, there will be things I can do to protect Her Majesty. In fact, always being at her side might actually cause you to overlook threats from time to time. I may even serve Her Majesty in a way you never could. <laughs> that is a promising thought, Monica. <laughs> Hubert like pats her on the head. Um, so that was awkward. Hmm. Hard to fathom just how hard Monica thirsts for her emperor. Yeah, and when did that start? Did that start before she was kidnapped? After? I don't know. I guess we haven't. We haven't really seen. Yeah, because their first their C support they don't talk, so we haven't really seen her actually interact much. Um, so maybe it'll be revealed there. Kaspar? Oh, what's with the mountain of books? Wait, please don't tell me you're planning to use them in your training somehow. I'm gonna punch what kind him! What guy do you think I am? They're books. I'm gonna read them. Read? A, a book? You? Did you eat something weird? Damn, Dorothea. Come on, you sound just like Linhart. I've torn through books before. Sometimes even two or three whole chapters a day. Wow. Please don't use the word torn when it comes to books. You're going to make my heart stop. I and didn't books know Dorothea are was much chapters, of a reader. Not chappers. Oh, Caspar, promise me you won't hurt those books. You don't have to worry, Dorothea. I realized something the other day. A person who's responsible for troops can't rely on physical strength alone. You probably wouldn't guess it from how my father looks, but he's pretty good about that stuff. Can't say I'm shocked that the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs has read the occasional book. Speaking of, you may have heard this story before, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Back during the War of the Eagle and Lion, there was an Imperial General named Francis who was quite proud of his strength. But then he while died he was the indeed end. strong, he was unlearned, and so everyone looked down on him. Why do I feel like this story is going to make me feel like an idiot? Just listen. The Emperor at the time gave Francis an order to study, and said that if he didn't, he wouldn't be allowed to lead anyone in battle. Francis did as his Emperor ordered, and studied as though his life depended on it, growing especially talented in the area of tactics and strategy. As a result, his deeds on the battlefield were great, and he eventually rose to the rank of Minister of Military Affairs. So I should take a page out of Francis's book, right? So long as you don't mean literally, yes. Incidentally, the words the Emperor used to praise Francis were memorable enough to have survived even to this day. With the passing of five sunrises and five sunsets, even the meanest soldier may burgeon into a peerless commander. It means if you study hard for five days, even a common soldier can become a great general who commands an entire army. Five days? Uh. Five days? That's nowhere near enough time. It'd take me five days just to read one book. You gotta at least give me until the end of the war. But by that point, won't your chances to distinguish yourself in battle have already passed? Oh, you're right. What am I gonna do, Dorothea? Well, I suppose I have no choice but to help you. Who knows? I might even learn something. You're Dorothea's like, I will teach you, you how to read, Caspar. <laughs> I don't think five days is long enough. <laughs> I think Elle and Monica knew each other before she was kidnapped. It was hinted with the way Edelgard commented on Monica's photographic memory. I think so. It's just like when she was rescued, they didn't 
I mean, you see Edelgard talking to Monica, but I sort of assumed that was because, you know, those who slither in the dark and she knew that that happened. It didn't really seem like they were friends, so I don't know. I can see why Monica was kidnapped in the first place of constantly trying to pee around me. Hey, Umbreons. How are you feeling? Which battlefield are you headed to? All right, everything is done, so... Cafu and playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Ruining this moment. The great coup of Murden. Count Burgley's and his troops have been trapped behind enemy lines in Leicester. Racing against time, you strike out to capture the Great Bridge of Murden and mount a rescue. Level 22. Hmm. Hopefully we're good. Dorothy had told him in the nicest way possible that he's illiterate. We'll reach the Great Bridge of Murden soon. Houses Phlegathon and Gloucester are defending it, just as we anticipated. Time to fight Lorenz. But Ladislava has done her job and broken through the enemy line for us. I intend to claim a swift victory and return her to us whole. If possible, the members of House Gloucester are to be taken alive. As we discussed previously, killing them will jeopardize Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively. If any enemy commanders appear open to persuasion, try to convince them to surrender. Our goal here is not to utterly annihilate our foes. The fewer casualties, the better. What a tyrant. That said, anyone who refuses to submit must be struck down without mercy. I know when to catch and when to kill. I am often being faced with such decisions on the hunt. You, you expect me to make that kind of decision in the heat of battle? You just do what you always do, Bernadetta. If it's all right with you, I prefer to focus on the diplomacy part. I'm not much for bloodshed. Then you may leave that part to me. I will happily deal with any <laughs> soldiers you cannot. <laughs> you, you can leave that to me. I love it blood. It's a simple enough matter to determine which of our enemies wishes to live and which will choose the way of death. We'd better not misjudge anyone, or else our lives will be the ones in danger. Then we should fight I love how Dorothy always has time to put on some lip gloss dad, before these fights. Am I, right? I mean, I get it. Small stuff if you're gonna fight to the over. death, you might as well look cute, then, right? I'll do what I do best. I believe we should all do what we do best. If we do, is I Monica feel smaller than Adel? On top when the dust settles. How tall is she? Victory is the most important thing, so leave the vanguard to me. Then. If everyone is prepared, let us show them the might of the Empire. She is. She's so small. <laughs> Gotta look pretty well while killing. They're a kissing height. <laughs> you can taste again, but most of the head congestion is gone. That's good. I'm glad that you're improving. Finally convinced my friends to play Three Hopes, but now I'm getting the feeling where I want to know everything before them. Hey, Celestial. Hi, Melium. Like how the game is like, we know Lorenz sucks, but please don't kill him. Dorothy enchanted her makeup. It's just always on. Monica's officially shorter than 80, though 80 is wearing them pumps too. How tall is she then? Because isn't Edelgard like 5'2? Beat Lorenz and Count Gloucester. Okay, so they're here. 
No mention of... Oh, we gotta protect Ladislava. No mention of Lysithia, but she could show up. Mm. Um, a lot of people are apparently showing up. Persuade Balthus. Why is Balthus here? Persuade Ignatz. Persuade Lorenz. So that's three. Ignatz is apparently showing up. Relentless Formation. Assign Healer. Stronghold Sabotage. Hmm. I'm probably going to want that bridge. That's 20, though. Hmm. Balthus and Holst were besties. But Holst isn't here, is he? We get Ignazia. Says she's 5'1. Edelgard or Monica? Let Ignaz die. I promise to recruit everyone, so we're recruiting everyone. I didn't even know that was possible to recruit Ignaz. Where is Lysithia? That's who I want. I feel like the bridge is going to be useful, so I'm going to go with the bridge. That way I don't have to worry about flying over there. Unless we get Painter Boy. Everyone hates Ignat so much. He is, he is not my most hated character. Um. Okay. Now you'll see how hard I've be been training. Useful. Petra is not, so probably a good thing we got that bridge. For the future that's yet to come. Mm, I'm gonna have to switch this because I don't. I'm not gonna want to play as Caspar or Monica. I mean, it go I guess it doesn't really matter. Bees has to come, I guess. Now you'll see how hard I've been training for the future that's yet to come. I might bring Linhart just to have a healer. I guess I could give Monica heal back. I don't care much for battle. But bring bring Bernie. Hmm, I might bring Happy. Oh, Yuritsa could could uh Go up there though. Hmm. Understood. Maybe we'll bring Yuritsa and swap Linhart for Happy. Hey, why not? And then why not? And then um give Monica heal. Think oh, cheese is obligatory in all main missions? That would make sense. I just made him betray his homeland and then proceeded to ignore him for the rest of the game? Who, Ignatz? In all seriousness, I don't mind Ignatz. It's just funny to jump on Chad's train of thought from time to time. Ignatz is fine. I've, I got a new appreciation for him since his VA streams this game and is a sweetheart. Yeah, he is. Benched him immediately. I don't hate him, but I don't like him either. <laughs> Almost let Ignatz die, but my need to 100% stop me. Wow, Umbreon's, and I know how much you hate Ignatz. So we know about Ignatz and Balthus. Yeah, it, it said you could persuade them, so we know that they're both here. Um, hmm. 
Aloy just rubs people the wrong way. Yeah, I never found him like that bad, but I get it. I don't think he deserves a ton of hate though. 26, 62. Hmm. I'll give that to Happy then. It's a little bit of a boost. Oh, wait. Deal Sword. Let me give. Yeah, I'm gonna give Dorothy that one. Switch that to Steel Axe 3 for Caspar. I think everyone else is good. Well, let me check Yuritsa. Blessed Lance. I guess we can bring that. I don't know if any monsters are going to appear, but since durability resets, it's not a huge deal, thankfully. Just bench him and let him paint for the rest of his life. Happy end for everyone. <laughs> they certainly aren't fooling around with these defenses. Count Gloucester must be located on the far bank. Ladislava is holding the central checkpoint. We'll mount our attack from there. The checkpoint is our key to taking the Great Bridge. Without it, we have not even a slim hope of victory. Her Majesty is counting on me, and I will not let her down. Beat the Brawlers and aid Ladislava, okay. Can do. It's Bernie's gonna be useful for that. Problem. All of these are blocked. Hmm. There are other characters who deserve more hate than Ignatz, but his support sometimes made him an awkward, creepy artist. It's Bernie's time to shine. Hmm. So does it ever show you how to get the doors right, open on the map? Moving. Or is it just... There are a lot of doors. There's Lorenz. There's Daddy Lorenz. I think it'll tell you soon. Okay, so we'll just start heading this way. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Starting the mission. Is that an not a problem? I've got this. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. So what should sure? Let's try it. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I will gladly handle this. All right. Orders received. Sometimes, but sometimes the thing that opens hasn't appeared. The doors open either when you kill stronghold captains, gatekeepers, or just by progressing wherever you can. Okay. Well, they that should hopefully do it. Time for a rescue. If we rush in heedlessly, we'll be trapped along with them. We must secure the route as we go. These are the strongholds. Well, there you go. See, I'm always trying to plan too quickly. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Okay, I'll keep Bernie up there. So, what should I be doing again? Useful. 
Sure, let's try it. You do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Safe place to retreat to. Done. It takes a trickster to recognize a trick. And the enemy is being suspiciously quiet in the West. I trust nothing. He's the Western stronghold. Stop the Alliance Army's scheme. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. I will gladly handle this. I yeah, you just go with Aogard. It's what you want anyway. All right, she's and Caspar are working over here, and Yuritsa's dealing with that one. Yeah. Is the urgent as it is to retake the checkpoint. I believe the West should be dealt with first. Face me. Yeah, <laughs> run people over is the main thing. And you know, bounce forces in the air. Be <laughs> mission successful. Nice. We're almost to the checkpoint. Keep going. Both has appeared. Oh shit. Not so fast. If you want through, you've got to open those purses and pay the toll. All this, I know you're in debt, but I will pay you nothing. Of all the irritating places to lay an ambush. <laughs> Thanks, Linhart. All right, we're going to take control of cheese. Omar, thank you for the resub for three months. Omar is on a three month streak and says, hi. Hi, Omar. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome in. Starting the Maybe mission. Maybe Rita start going up this is way. Is that an order? I've got this. This Take man a is a mercenary. Perhaps <laughs> offering a reward will allow us to avoid a fight. Ignaz has also appeared. Stra no, I was strategizing. How dare you? I guess it's just the lighting, Fire. but it makes his hair look Rain really pale. Down on their central forces. The Alliance Army are using Ballista to fight. Could you let me read the text? <laughs> Persuade Balthus. I guess it. Sure I guess it counted. Deal with it. Even though the the thing didn't. The Ignats to stop the Ballista. Okay. Well. Mm. Happy. I'm Here goes. Go this way. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Defeat. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're. Jump over there in a second. Yeah, I started to hold down the strategy, and then the cutscene happened. But I think it is going to work. Already clearly possesses a gifted officer. Gifted? Wait, are you talking about me? Okay. Be and recruit Balthus. Main mission change. Got here, it. And I'm going to fight the Empire to the end. Just you know, I got no interest in dying. Thanks so much. Put that <laughs> Be and recruit Ignaz. Main, mi main mission changed. 
Palmer, thank you for gifting that sub to Clayton. Clayton, I hope you enjoy your emotes and your sub badge. Are raining down on we have to stop them at the source. Okay, I'm doing stuff, Dorothea. You're gonna have to give me a second. I'm just surrender. Besides, you're a clever man. You know the Empire won't let someone strong as Besides, we have the other wolves. Set. Well, most of them, the important ones. Recruited Balthus, hooray. Okay. So that opened this up. Cheese. Uh, you're gonna not a problem. Attack I've them. Got this. Leave this one to me. That's also my cue. Dorothea. Rachel, Starting you can, you the can mission. keep going this way. Is that an order? It's burning. You can help to too. You need some backup? Alright. While that's going down, we're gonna jump over here. I guess Edelgard has already decided to Caspar. So what should I be doing again? How did you get down here, Caspar? Um, I'm gonna want Caspar up here anyway, sure, so I'm gonna send him over it. there. Here goes. Alright. They must learn who watch this! <laughs> My thanks. Mind taking it from here? The Imperial Army reached by his house. They able to sure face did. The others again. It can't be. Stand aside. How do you know unless you keep living? I mean, things like this tend to have a way of working themselves out, you know? I guess so, but. Right. You're still on fire. <laughs> Oops. Seems like fighting's all I do these days. I surrender. <laughs> Good call, the sir. Let us proceed. <laughs> that hated Ladislava. Good. Rest, Ladislava. This, this is a great achievement. You honor me, your majesty. May victory be yours this day. Victory's mine every day. Now we can fight on even footing. The conditions have changed. Akron and Akron subordinates appeared. This bitch. Those are what a name. At the other end of this bridge and you lot are not welcome. Dude, that hair. Could you imagine if one of them had that hair? <laughs> Post time skip. So sure, let's try it. Bernie, you gotta get out of there. It's Bernie's time to shine. Bernie, why don't you sure go over hope here? This goes cheese. Okay. Where did cheese go? Take out. Not a problem. I've got this. Our friend over there. Leave this one. That's my cue. Dorothy, you can go there. Uh, it'll go Monica, I guess, can go. Oh, we can't fly that over there. The only bridge we made is here. We can't actually go this way. We're gonna have to go back. Here I go. No mistakes. Hmm. Nah. They must learn who they're up against. Monica will follow, so. That yeah, looks good. I've got this. Monica's living the dream right now. Yeah, I was like, just guard it, guard. That's it works. Live your best life. Listen up, rogues. You will defend the supplies you stole from the Empire to the death. I can already smell the coin that has got me. Dude, I'm gonna cut your head off. Feed Acheron subordinates and recover the stolen supplies. Here goes. Get him happy. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Starting the mission. Hmm. 
I was hoping that would un oh, wait. No, it did unlock that. Okay. So sure, let's try it. Now. Starting the mission. Mm. Well, your read says it's that not useful order? right now. It's Leave this one to me. That's my Dorothea. That's my cue. Alright. The bridge lets you get the chest without having to go all around the main boss. Think pretty highly of yourself. Not a problem. I've got this. Look happy. Starting the mission. You know what, Eureka? Go get Is the key. Old... It's burning Go time make to yourself shine. useful. Sure hope this goes okay. They must l I'll take over. Can't you idiots see I'm in trouble? Now stop standing about with your jaw slacking and help me already. I got this. Get out of my way. Jeez. Oh god. <laughs> I he went yeet. Sides, but I had the chance. Oh shit, he's dead. He's straight up dead. No mercy, that's right. Lord Acheron is done for. Grab the goods and head for the hills. Side mission. Thieves got away. I think I killed them too fast. Because they were working on that. Is done, is done. The Alliance's lands lie there, as well as Gloucester's arm. So, they've taken the Great Bridge, have they? Anything that makes me. us the Alliance's last defense. There must be a way to resolve this matter without further bloodshed, Father. Be Count Gloucester and Lorenz. All right, let's go. Caspar? What should I be doing again? Why can he not go that way? That bridge should be there. Do I have to do something? Oh no, he's dead, so unfortunate. This way? I'm on it. I'm assuming there's something there that I can interact with, maybe? You'll be able to activate the bridge later. Oh, I can't do it yet? It'll prompt you. So, okay, what should I be doing again? Around. All right. Sure, let's try it. Is Dorothea's class mercenary? Yeah, she's mercenary. Okay. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Here goes. Happy? Uh, why don't you come up here and... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Do your thing. Not a problem. Mm, I'm just gonna pair cheese with Happy. Let's work together. Because she's kind of weak with everything right now, so I think that'll be fine. Our first priority is to find Count Blanc. You got my back? He was on our side once. He'll surrender. 
He'll surrender. He's a coward. I have no choice but to seize control of the entire bridge. He's the strongholds. Uh, okay, there's one, but I can do that. What is the other strategy? Build the bridge, build the bridge! Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a lot happening. I'm getting run over by a horse. Listen here. To construct a bridge. To get out of my way. Exactly. The Imperial Army built a bridge to the opposite bank. How did they how did they build that so fast? I have questions. Alright, who's over here? Dorothea's over. There. Leave this one to me. It's not deep though. Who has the key? I know there was a key over here. Elitza, do you... You still haven't killed this man? Elitza, Starting, come on, man. Is that an, order? an Ikea bridge? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good idea. That is not... Happy became her adjutant. Not a That's problem. What I, wanted. I wonder about the other way around. So yeah, what I can't bring you just keep going sure. up to the rings. I will gladly Happy as well. This. It'll guard Orders can take received. This. Here I go. No, because they must learn who they're up against. Happy can't oh, because she's uncontrollable. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Can I separate them? Yeah, unassign adjutant. I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna use happy. Maybe it's a hurry up, man. It's burning time to shine. I'm bringing it down. Die. Dead. Our foothold is secure. There goes Caspar. We need only capture the enemy commander. There he goes. Let us bring the stronghold down efficiently. Everybody now has the key, so any unit can open the chest. Okay. I must outwit so it's, even it's not tied to the person who got it? Because in that case, I'll just have Dorothea do it. She's right there. Leave this one to me. Let's get moving. Yep, looks like she can. Good. All right, Yurita. Starting the mission. go after him just yet. We need to see how we're doing. Providing support. It's not a... 1200? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> It is time. Those are Gloucester lands you see beyond me, and I will not suffer one heel of your boots to sully them. I didn't see about that. I have news for you. Weak. I have a sight. Me. 
horse battle. House Gloucester is known for its tenacity. It's a proper joust. Face me. Monica just flicked Gaiki. My, I'm more wounded than I realized. Enough. Stand down. Count Gloucester will soon be in our custody. Further resistance can serve no purpose. So be it. I am no use to my people if I die here. Yo. Lawrence, no! Recruiting so many friends. I mean, Monsters, no, I how dare those. you hurt my son! Uh, I... I mean, he's fine. He's just will not on our side. so easily now that you damaged his precious heir. Oh look, it's other Lorenz. I will not shame my people by surrendering to you without a fight. Not bad. Okay, I have 20 minutes, so I have time. to work with you. It's Bernie's time to shine. Leave this one to me. This will be easy with both of us. Okay. They must watch this. Excuse me, I need to go uh, kill some guys. I don't know if there are Mm. He still needs several hundred. And I assume he's the final boss. We have all the strongholds, though. I mean, there's some enemies all the way down here. Oh, I guess cheese is over here. Here goes. I got you. I've got to take a breather. <laughs> Right. Well, it'll probably take the AI a while, even if they do start attacking Gloucester. A bit of time. Oh good, more. Let's get it over with. Come on. We'll do it together. I've got you now. Got him. Oh, it looks like we got some support points too. Just a tornado. Okay, where are we at? I gotta find more enemies. I mean, I guess there's still some down here. She really does have a bomb move set, she does. Money. 
see stragglers. Just standing around waiting to die. Don't need more though. Oh, you're not an enemy. We have a random base captain right there. All right, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I've got you now. Yeah, that's a bit overkill for this guy. <clears throat> oh, there might be enough where Gloucester is. Okay, we're still good on time. Let's see what's going on up here. Sure, already. Whoop! There aren't that many up here, though. See if we can find some over this way. Nope. No friends. No friends to murder. Goodness. We just obliterate everyone. There goes cheese. Well, yeah, okay. I guess I'll just take out the guys up by Gloucester and hope that he doesn't <laughs> get killed. Maybe they'll keep spawning. I don't know. All right. Bear witness. <laughs> the boss will keep spawning minions infinitely. Okay. I'll just have to keep avoiding him, I guess. There aren't that many minions, though. Army of gatekeepers? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not trying to kill you yet. Alright, alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. No more, your majesty. All of House Gloucester bows to your will. Victory is ours. But this is merely the first step of our rescue. Right you are. We need to relieve our allies who are embattled on Alliance lands. One, but this is no time to rest easy. There's a lot more work still to be done. 
Agreed. We will leave some troops here with the wounded to hold our position. Then take the reconsolidated force north without delay. Sadly, there can be no victory celebration until we have extricated Count Burgleys and the others. Based on our projections, they will run out of provisions at any moment. We can also assume they know we have made it to Gloucester, meaning they will be waiting for us. But each hour they wait is another hour their stomachs remain empty. If we peel away House Gloucester's troops, we can create an opening in the enemy ranks. Once that's done, we'll bring an end to Claude's shady scheme. Nice. Oh, we had to we had to take out 1200 in total. I'm getting stronger. For S rank. Inconsequential. Thought Claude was going to ambush from the southwest or something because it was kind of empty and I got to Gloucester in less than half the time. Yeah, that time estimate was pretty generous, surprisingly. That's nice, I guess. Use this strength to perform mighty deeds. I won't let myself stop here. Well, hey, we got some money. He's in Happy are a C, and Caspar and Yuritsa are a C. Lorenz is now playable. Ignatz is now playable, and Balthus is now playable. Interesting. It seems the Empire may not want our heads on pikes after all. That is good news. I was concerned they might be so upset as to seek your execution. But based on their posturing, it seems those fears were groundless. Well, I am an effective lord, Rebel. if I do say so myself. They must realize taking my life would make it difficult to keep order on my lands. Mm. Few lords anywhere in Fodlan are as loved and respected by their people as you, father. I doubt that very much, Lorenz. Perhaps. But if so, that only makes my misjudgment all the more grave. I never should have let that man cajole me into starting such a needless fight. You say that now because we lost, but would your appraisal not be different in the face of victory? The people would have idolized you for ushering House Gloucester toward even greater prosperity. Questions of what if matter little after you lose a battle, and even less after you have misled your people. The time to judge the right and wrong of things is before, not after. Still think deep down Daddy Mayonnaise is disappointed in learning to yield Daddy command mayonnaise. of our house to you. I only pray you might walk us back from the terrible misstep I have made. Besides which, the Empire still views me as a traitor. If I fail to step down now, I will spend the rest of my days wondering when the axe might fall. I... I understand, Father. With all that has happened, it is hard not to see the wisdom in your decision. I will find a way to build a newer, stronger House Gloucester alongside the Empire. And just as it did before, our house will shine brighter than any in Leicester. Ooh, Thursis. Thursus owner. Your Majesty. I wonder Gloucester if we only get that if we were to his firstborn son, Lawrence. This new Count Gloucester has expressed a desire to join the Empire. Hey, baby Beluga, no how doubt are you? He wishes to make his loyalty plain by taking a clear stand against House Regan. My little sister used to love that song. Well, I see no reason to reject his offer. 
See that his soldiers are properly integrated. As you wish, your majesty. I know, can't wait to give that to Lysithia, right? Sometimes I have no idea what goes through your noble heads. How can you possibly trust a house that just plunged a knife into your back? Well, we don't trust them. If a merc pulled a stunt like that, they'd either be cast aside or cut down where they stood. I believe it, and I'd like to do the same. But not just anyone can hold Gloucester territory together, and I have no one else to take Lawrence's place. Retort sarcastically, grudgingly. I suppose no one would put up with the aristocracy if it didn't afford some sort of stability. Yes, that is simply the way of things in Fodlin now. But as I've told you, I intend to change this. The age of deciding our rulers by blood must end. A day will come when anyone can vie for the right to rule, and then we will be free of this wretched system. So stand with me. Help me make it so. I will. Lorenz must be an only child without cousins. Yeah, it definitely seems like it. That's probably why he's so valuable to his dad, because he's the only heir. He seems so much more competent than I would have expected, given how obnoxious Lorenz is. I don't know. I feel like his dad flip-flops a lot. He's definitely, like, not really trustworthy. Starlight Blaze. The Triumph of Valor. To rescue Count Burglies, Edelgard seizes the Great Bridge of Murden, forcing My Count Gloucester's now. surrender. With no time to lose, she then presses on, unbowed. But Claude is not one to be caught off guard. He rallies every resource at his disposal, determined to tighten the noose around Burglies' forces and prevent any rescue. Rude. Rude, Claude. Everyone related so to Lorenz has Gloucester. the same hair. <laughs> Unavoidable, perhaps, but it still stings all the same. Fortunately, I haven't been sitting on my hands this whole time. Couldn't be the bigger person like AD. I would have executed those traitors, not forgive them. That's why I love her, though. And yet, she gets no credit. <laughs> God, what the fuck, bro? I feel like Dimitri would have executed uh, whatever Lorenz's dad's name was. Daddy Mayonnaise. If we smash the Imperial reinforcements and stop them from breaking the siege, Count Burglies will have no choice but to give up. We're going to face that challenge. And we're going to face it with the Alliance's latest and greatest. Which is why I've asked all of you here. Did you really just say latest and greatest like with Scythia. a straight face? Oh, he said it all right. And while I can't swear we'll have that, we do at least have numbers on our side. Yep. More than half of the old golden oh deer house is here. Some well, of us may I'm already not be recruiting quite as them, great so. as you say, but, well, you know best. Here I am. I'm grateful to each of you for answering the call. It's more than I can say for some of our classmates. Yeah, Ignatz and Lawrence both sided with the enemy. No. I said the like, and I will too. Uh, I just haven't that. told anyone. It pains me to say this. But how Cerdelia has made its allegiance to the Empire clear. It was against my parents' protests that I came here in the first place. If this battle doesn't unfold the way you're hoping, I may be forced to leave as quickly as I arrived. That's okay, Lysithia. Leone is ignored. You're not the yeah, only like one who's here with strings attached. Where's Leone? Yes. My adoptive father has also insisted I return home at once. Should the tides turn against us, you can join me instead. Sounds about right. Three cheers for that good old Alliance Solidarity. I'll fight with you to the end, Claude. 
Uh, Raphael's like, I don't have parents to call me out. Then I'm out. Oh, that is Look, sad. What matters is that you're all here, and that we settle this war with the next battle. Also, think Leonie's on Gerald's side. Oh, that's a good point. Some extra professional muscle. Leone and in. Aloise both ran off to join Gerald. Should have known they are the fan club. I said, "He's like, I'm two seconds from leaving this lost cause, guys." <laughs> Just saying. Oh, for some reason, I didn't even register that Leone would have joined with Gerald. That, but that makes so much sense. I just kind of thought, oh, she's with Claude, but nope, makes a lot more sense for her to be with Gerald. It's really interesting. It's good to meet you. I'm the acting captain of Gerald's mercenaries. D Why are we Our captain and not dad? Our guest here is fresh off another battle with the Empire on Kingdom soil. From what I gather, remaining in the kingdom was no longer an option. So, okay, so Violet and Gerald have worked for Dimitri, right? The first time, and now they're working with Claude. I'm curious if it's going to be the same when we play those routes, or if we're going to be opposing them because Cheese would be, like, in opposition to them. Tita's here! <laughs> The blue lions are the most loyal, by the way. That makes sense for them, too, because that's kind of their whole, like, honor and all that. Yeah, Kita left Dimitri. <laughs> I don't think he paid her enough. <laughs> I'm still, like, okay. I'm waiting for some scene where Byleth saves Edelgard or Edelgard saves Byleth to like do a callback to three houses. I'm waiting for that. I'm also waiting for Gatekeeper to just like appear on the field sometime and save everyone's ass. So those are those are the two things I'm waiting for. And that's when our paths crossed here in Alliance territory. Oh, hello. Gatekeeper is the final I know reliable when I see it and you are definitely that. I'll do whatever you ask, as long as I'm getting paid. So long as we're allied, I won't fail you. Man, Kita just loves money. I don't blame her, though, you know? Those capes are probably expensive, and she probably has to keep buying right. new ones. Let's begin our council. Yeah, was Hilda as hitting on Kita? From our Questions. Scouts, the path from here to Deirdre will be fraught with difficulties. The Alliance has constructed fortresses and palisades. And what if Edelgard kills Byleth? I don't progress. think she will. In okay. Addition, they are plotting ambushes at key positions along the way. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like they have this connection... ...that seems canon. To me, at least. Especially with the way the Crimson Flower ends. So, I feel like something's gonna happen. I don't see them killing each other. I could be wrong, but just narratively, it wouldn't make sense. But who knows? Needless to say, we will I not don't be work able for to free Mommy Byleth. Bi Mommy Byleth is not here to work for exposure. But if we try to dance around all their traps, we'll never make it in time. Yes, but this is Count Burgley's we're talking about. He could probably stretch his soldiers a few extra days through sheer force of will. I would normally write off such an idea as lunacy. But sadly, it will likely come to that. They could also eat the We have the made weak. attempts to smuggle provisions to Count Burgley's through holes in the enemy lines. But this has met with little success. They must be so hungry. I know just how that feels. The struggle to get food when all you want to do is hide under your covers. Hello, old friend. Relatable, Bernie. I mean, no offense, but if time is truly so short, why do we waste it dithering in council? We should embark on our rescue mission straight away. Byleth seems like an important figure in all routes, so I think Byleth opposes uh, Cheese's faction. Could be.
Those tights are like lace. That shit has to get replaced constantly. How did Hubert put it again? We're here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. I agree. A hunter must never be losing sight of their calmness. Well said. Let's not allow Claude to wind us up. So we must take the safe route, but do so as quickly as possible. A best of both worlds situation, I suppose. Understood. Good. With that decided, let's move on and discuss our preferred formation. So far, we haven't had to kill anyone important. But I'm curious if we'll have to, because in Crimson Flower, you didn't have a choice. You could spare Claude, but you had to take out Hilda. I mean, I guess if you avoided her, maybe. But you couldn't just spare her. So I'm curious how they're going to do that here. But a hacker on is so important. You can now exchange for a wider variety of facility materials at the supply depot. New exam seals are available. <gasps> like... Advanced ones, maybe? I mean, we still have to upgrade first, but... Southern Gloucester Territory. Alright. An award is available. If you don't recruit characters, you kill them? Yeah, but I mean, like... We haven't had to kill any of them. Well, let it go. We always had the choice. Any results a good result. You'll get the upgrade materials after the first mission, if I recall correctly. Sweet. Oh, oh, oh look. We're gonna go have tea together. Very nice. Lorenz, I am simply overjoyed that you've decided to fight on the side of the Empire. Still your joy, Ferdinand. A defeated man makes no decisions. He simply does as he is told. Even so, you were clever enough to read the winds of war and stop fighting before it was too late. <laughs> to fight in vain is to bring suffering upon one's people. That is a thought neither I nor my father could ever stomach. Compliment or comfort? Compliment? I love it. No need for false humility. Not many people could make the call you I did. I am on it. Exactly. And now we too will henceforth show the world the true spirit of the nobility. Delightful words. I will return the favor of my life by fighting alongside you all. Right. I wonder if they have any supports together. Lorenz has supports with Constance? And Balthus. Interesting. And Ignatz, which makes sense. That is uh, disappointing that they don't have supports together. Did Ferd forget what AD was going to do with the nobility? I think Ferd always forgets what, sh what her plans are. Ignatz has supports with Lorenz and Happy. And that's it. Didn't Manuela used to teach their house? And Manuela doesn't give two shits about anybody. She only has supports with Cheese and Yuritsa, of all people. Who did Manuela dirty with supports, man? She deserves more. Balthus has supports with Edelgard, Caspar, Lorenz, and that's it. He doesn't even have any with the other Ashen Wolves. And Mella just has it bad in this game, right? We get some unexpected pairings in this game.
Hmm. Hold on a moment. You there, you recognize you recognize me, yes? Don't tell me you were trying to slip by without giving proper respects. It boggles the mind to think a commoner like you would ignore a highborn baron such as myself. Hmm, you wonder how I pinpointed your baseborn nature? Your aura and stench tell me all I need to know. Hmm. What an asshole. What was that about? Who peed in your Wheaties this morning? Edelgard, arrest her. She was mean to me. Did you need something? He's just punches her. <laughs> I feel like Byleth might have. I was dispatched from the capital as a messenger, and honestly, the mood here at the front is much better than I expected it to be. I was pretty worried about the Minister of Military Affairs being in such a tricky spot, you know? But now I can return to the capital with my mind at ease. May the tides of battle flow in your favor. May the odds be ever in your favor. Hi, Linhart. Truth be told. I recently received an unusual letter from my father regarding the Minister of Military Affairs. He says this is an opportunity to have the man in my debt and entreats me to do my utmost to rescue him. I find the whole thing quite odd. They dislike each other as much as ever, yet still maintain a deep concern for one another. Did you ever think that maybe they're lovers? Linhart, did you ever think that? Maybe you're only pretending to dislike each other. Uh. Let's see. You seem like a rather cunning pair. Maybe their whole not getting along thing was just for show. Can't fathom what purpose deceiving so many people would have. Why go to the trouble? Because they're lovers. Well, it's nothing to me. If they wish to play politics, they can have their fun. No mention of their wives, so this may check out. <laughs> their fathers are lovers like their sons. Ah, uh, that, that would be a little awkward. Let me think. As a matter of fact... Honestly, my greatest concern right now is the situation on the kingdom side of matters, especially as my reports claim Count Roe gives no indication of further betrayal. Also, General Randolph appears to be doing well. The man has ambition to spare and is beloved by his subordinates. He rather reminds me of yourself. Thanks, Hubert. Yeah, I'm wondering how Rhea's doing right now. We're kind of focusing on the Alliance at the moment. Are you gonna be mean to me like that other lady was? Over here. Claude makes much trouble for us. He oversaw the recapture of the bridge and commanded the siege of the Imperial Army as it attacked Lester. Though it pains me to do so, I would be a liar if I did anything but acknowledge his well. ability. I imagine the man has earned a nickname of his own by the po by this point. Perhaps the master tactician. That title belongs to Scum Dad. How fucking dare you? Can't even look at you. Yes. Hmm. I am sensing little unity in the alliance. What could be the reason? They are having many lords, but each of them are doing whatever they please. I am wondering if a region requires a leader, such as an emperor or other monarch, in order to function. Gumdad is the master babysitter. I, so I assume in Blue Lions would be fighting Randolph and stuff while this is going. Yeah, you might be right. <clears throat> Greetings, friend. Nothing to report. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. Count Burgley's force forces are right in front of us, but our march is going to still take a while longer. It's driving me up the wall. Sure wish there was something I could do. Well, I guess I'll just hunker down and keep on keeping on. No enemies are getting in here. I swear it. Gatekeeper, are you going to join in like the last battle? Listen up. I think this might be my first time going into Alliance territory. It's fun to discover new things. Like, did you know there might be some trees that only grow here? Do you like trees? Uh -huh. Do you like trees? Mm. Sure do. Or to be more specific, I like the berries that fall off of them. Or anything else that tastes good. Just don't eat the weeds. Good day to you. I am a Knight of House Gloucester. Lord Lorenz ordered me to come here and join your ranks. The previous Count Irwin has long desired to, to stand above the ruling House Regan. Though we now serve the Empire, it seems we are fated to share a relationship with their house. Sir, I feel like that armor makes you very easy to spot. 
I carry a little of everything here. All right, so we have three advanced seals. Mm. Hope to see you again soon. Can't use them yet, though. Well... Sometimes I wonder if this war is merely some grand opera that takes that takes place on the stage of Fodland. It's a dramatic portrayal of life and death where everyone's hopes and dreams come crashing into one another. It's almost like we're part of someone else's script. I mean, there is a script. Let's see. That kind of thing is a little above my pay grade, but I know plenty of people who claim every possible outcome is predetermined for us by the goddess. Oh. Well, if she's our scriptwriter, I sure hope we're serving as her protagonists. Um, I have bad news for you, Dorothea. <laughs> the goddess is currently with Byleth. Dorothea is aware she's at a video game. It was very meta. Hey, Manuela, what are you doing over here? Oh, she's singing. I, at first, I thought she was sad. Ah! <laughs> Just one? Just one? La! La la la. Oh dear, so terribly sorry. Just checking the condition of my throat is all. Stare at her unblinking. Flatter her voice. Yes. You have a beautiful voice, Manuela. <laughs> well, I'm delighted to hear you say that. Got a sec? Hey, yeah, I'm from Abyss, the place under Garrig Mach. Basically, I crawled out of the same hole as Happy and Constance. And Balthus. I'm here because the Imperial Army is recruiting bodies, but the pay is good and the rations are plentiful, so you won't hear me complain. Great. He probably likes all three options because I picked the third. You just stared at her? Butter. Good day to you. On to a different topic. This has nothing whatsoever to do with me, but I was incredibly relieved that House Gloucester did not meet with Ruin. Guess what? That reminds me. Does that have something to do with your house? <laughs> Please don't shout it aloud for the world to hear, though yes, you have seen to the core of me. Still, I feel certain that my house will see its own revival one day. Constance, Edelgard is dismantling the nobility. How's it going? You the commander I've heard about, the one lifted up from the co lifted up from the common folk and given authority? Some folks say you aren't even from the Empire. Regardless, your being here is good news for me. Means a rough and tumble lady like myself might actually end up with a promotion someday. I'm a rough and tumble kind of lady too. This is true. She wants to change the world, does she? How amusing. And what do you think of this idea of hers? I agree. Absolutely. I definitely want to try and make it happen if we I can. I wonder. Is that so? But even if you manage to change things, there's no guarantee such actions will bring about the bright future you desire. Yeah, but if we all lived like that, nothing would ever change. Um, and we wouldn't improve. Not a great attitude, Larva. What's wrong? How are you doing? You're Knight of House Gloucester now, right? So what's with the long face? Oh, just thinking about what the future will bring. Aww. I'll likely have to fight people I know, and it's just sad. Uh, yeah, I can't argue with that. Excellent. Some say Count Burglies is the strongest man in the Empire. Perhaps he can slay me if we cross blades. Predict who will win this showdown. Now there's a fight I'd pay to see. Can't say he'd come out on top, though. Might end up a draw. <sighs> a pathetic outcome. Nice talking to you, Yuritsa. As always. You don't say. Arvel underestimates Edelgard's commitment. Yes, he does. As one would expect from the territory of the house that leads the Alliance, Regan is well prepared for any and all possibilities. They've even shown signs of preparing for an invasion of the Empire. You think Claude is plotting something else? Because if so... I mean, probably. You think Count Gloucester might be doing some behind-the-scenes scheming again? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Hanneman and all the others at the Great Bridge of Murden have to stay vigilant. I guess Hanneman's there. <laughs> We're just like, go over there, Hanneman. 
We don't need you at camp. I don't know. I don't think Gloucester would try that again. Because if he did, I think he would be beheaded. Because at that point, it's like, all right, buddy. <laughs> Fool me once. Over here. <sighs> Claude has been causing me no end of trouble. He truly is a cunning adversary. Come to think of it, that particular quality stretches back to his student days. He appears suddenly and with an easy smile that reveals nothing. Yet the entire time he's scheming to outwit you. Tell me what's your impression of the man. It's positive, say it's negative. I don't know what she would prefer. Negative? Let's see. I don't know, there's something elusive about him. Guy doesn't really strike me as a noble. Right. I'm surprised to hear you hand out such a harsh ev evaluation. I'll have to be more vigilant around you lest I find myself in your bad books. I mean, you won't. But... I'm grateful. You too chose negative? I mean, I don't think she dislikes him, but at the same time, it's kind of like... I don't feel like that was specific enough. I thank you for your assistance on the Great Bridge of Murden. I volunteered to take up the vanguard, yet ended up deceived by the enemy's actions and was cut off. I do hope that troublesome Count Gloucester remains in quiet retirement going forward. Oh, uh, hey, Ash. I was relieved when I heard we wouldn't be fighting the kingdom right away. I suppose that makes me selfish, huh? I can follow orders if it involves taking Alliance lives, but I hate the idea of hurting people from the kingdom. Then why are you here? Sympathize uh -uh. with him. It's not selfish to dislike the idea of fighting your old allies and friends. No one wants oh, to do no. that. Yeah, I suppose. Why Why didn't you just, like, go home then? You don't seem like you want to be here. Oh. History of Fodlin 2. Imperial year 721, the first mock war. The Dagden army invaded from across the sea. Though the Imperial forces resisted the attack and drove off the enemy, the land of Mach sustained considerable damage. Imperial year 728, the invasion of Brigid. The Empire invaded the Brigid Archipelago, a land occupied by allies of Dagda, as penance for their refusal to surrender. The people of Brigid were relegated to a life of Imperial subjugation. Year 731, the invasion of Dagda. With the boon of a strong foothold in Brigid, the Empire mounted a harsh... The Empire mounted a large-scale invasion of Dagda, However, the fortunes of war were not on their side, and their attack failed. Year 747, the Fargus Rebellion. Lug! Oh, there he is. There he is, King Lug. A descendant of one of the houses that first quarreled with the Empire raised an army to demand independence, pulling the land of Fargus into a fierce rebellion. This clash came to be known as the War of the Eagle and Lion. 751, the founding of the Holy Kingdom. Lug and his resistance army were victorious over the Imperial forces. The Holy Church of Saros mediated between the two, and Fargus secured its hard-won independence from the Holy as the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Year 801, the Leicester Rebellion. A rebellion broke out in the Imperial lands of Leicester, which the Imperial army was unable to suppress. The Holy Kingdom, viewing the uprising as an opportunity to increase its own political sway, occupied the Leicester region, formally declaring it as a territory of Fargus. Year 861, Fargus divided. Following the death of King Klaus I, three princes became archdukes and split the Holy Kingdom of Fargus that they may rule over it as three separate territories. Year 881, the Crescent Moon War. The archduke ruling over the Leicester region of the kingdom succumbed to illness. The lords of the Leicester lands refused to acknowledge the next, the next archduke in line, instead plotting to rule jointly as an alliance. 901, the founding of the Alliance. The Leicester Alliance was officially formed after the subjugation of hostile nobles and the removal of all opposing forces in the regions of Fargus. An influential figure from the outset, Duke Regan was inarguably the heart of the newly formed Alliance. The year 961, the Elmiran invasion. The great eastern nation of Elmira crossed through Fodland's throat and invaded Alliance territory. The Empire dispatched troops in order to help conquer this, thre this threat and the attackers were just barely driven off. Year 1101, construction of Fodland's Locket. To defend against future Almiran invasions, the Alliance, the Kingdom, and the Empire joined their efforts and resources to construct the indomitable fort known as Fodland's Locket. 
What's up, Caspar? Mm. I've got to get stronger, but I also need to start using my head more. War isn't just about two sides smashing into each other, much as I'd like it to be. You've also got sieges, rescues, logistics, defense, and so much more. Press mm. admiration. Ah. Really been using your head lately, Caspar. <laughs> that seems like a backhanded compliment. I better keep go. up. <laughs> you make it sound so easy. Guess that's what it's like to have the cool poise of a hardened merc. Ash has no supports with anyone, says all the time he doesn't want to be here, and is never seen with anyone next to him. Yeah, it's like, why are you here then? Why didn't you go home, Ash? That's fine, you can go. We're not gonna stop you. How can I be of service? I found myself wondering if Her Majesty couldn't have us advance at greater speed, and yet we continue our careful, plodding pace, holding both banks of the air mid as we do. Perhaps she is more cautious than expected, or perhaps ah uh, no, forget I said anything. What does that mean? Um, are you inside there? Is that Bernie? Actually, it is Bernie. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like sieges. I mean, think about it. You get to stay nice and cozy in some castle or whatever. It sounds great. Oh, but then there's the part where the enemy cuts off your supply lines and tries to starve you out, huh? Nope, never mind. Go away, sieges. Uh, okay then. The way you stopped at the house made me laugh. I was like, wait, are you gonna appear? Because sometimes, you know, they, they pop in. So I wasn't sure... Or if they were, like, clipped into it. But no, it's just Bernie. Just Bernie being Bernie. Hey. I don't know. Well, look who it is. The big bad cell sword folks just can't stop talking about. Heard the Emperor went and made you a general, yeah? Bet that put some coin in your pocket. Yeah. Hmm. Good thing they're paying me all that money, too. I'm gonna have to buy a bigger purse to hold it I all. Get you. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Also, it sounds like this might be a good opportunity for me to get my debts in order. We'll see, I guess. Hi there. Why aren't we advancing more quickly? When I think about how Leopold and our allies are in danger, oh, it really makes me mad. Please. We're gonna help them no matter what. All right, buddy. Chill out. Calm down. Hmm. I think I might want to expand the facilities and stuff before I start spending my points. Let's see Which what, where we're at. Headed to? Good old humble bragging cheese. Oh, well, there's Anna. You have unlocked the Paralog Battle, an incurable shut-in. You have unlocked the Paralog Battle, a grand day for the Opera Company. Depending on the units in your party, Paralogs may be triggered as the story progresses. Collect the camp on the worm map. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll we'll have to do those then. Must have the following classes mage. Okay. They make up for the lack of supports between units that had them in three houses by giving them paralogs. Interesting. The Opera Company Paralog is an excellent spot to farm levels. You can replay them. Oh, you can replay the paralogs. That's good to know.
Make sure you're real ready. Quick. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. We need quality building materials and veteran training gear. Let me know if I may be of further service. I'm assuming they can Supplies be are the now? lifeblood of any army. They're expensive, though. some of these. Everything has its use. Hmm. best bet is probably going to be just getting them from the map. Um, does it tell you when the paralogs expire? Which are you headed to? Doesn't say. 27, though. This one's 23, so I think I'm going to wait to do those. They do not expire? Okay, good to know. Because in three houses, they would give you a time limit. Feed the Pegasus Knight, the Priest, and the Armored Knight. Defeat conditions. The Grappler is routed. The Grappler. Another day, another stage to conquer. Balthus is a good way to farm money. Once you do it, they won't go away, but if you don't do them this chapter, I don't know if you can keep it. Hmm. That would be good to know. Iron Gauntlets, Balthus, come on now. Let's give him some nice gauntlets. Golden Fists. At 300 hits and above, power up attacks proportional to the hit count. Sending enemies flying grants a very small amount of gold. He's just going to literally beat the gold out of them.
give that to Dorothea. He picks pockets so fast, they haven't even hit the ground dead when he takes it. <laughs> Take a look at his unique skill. Oh, that's what you meant, the unique ability. What y'all have for dinner? I haven't eaten dinner yet. I will be eating after the stream. It's time for battle. The battle begins. <laughs> so I can't just sit this one out. No, Bernie, you cannot. Don't let the Pegasus Knight and their allies reach the mountain road. Fair enough. No charge. Just leave it to me. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Enforcement secure and attack Dorothea. Beat the Cavaliers within the time limit. Over to happy. Yeah, all right. Good, huh? Yeah, Balthus. I'm sorry. Let's keep it going. Back to me. But I gotta fall back. Correct. Side mission successful. Neat. Reinforcements. All right. Well, Bernie. It's Bernie's time to shine. You think? Sure hope this goes okay. Here goes. 
Yeah, yeah, I got Matthew it. Can Leave this one to me. Home. That's my cue. Very bold as well. Um, I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. You can do that. Sure hope that I have, I'm up. Our time has finally come. Hmm. I'm on it. Just leave it to me. Just leave it. Time to wreck stuff. No, get back. Get back here. Get back here. I guess we'll attack here. You have a tips to gain more smithing stones? Can I share it? Yes. Just hang on, Bernie. Punching the gold out of this general, as you do. Peace awaits us. I know it does. Oh shoot! Did we do the side mission? Did Bernie do that? Damn it! I'm getting better, but at what cost? Seems like fighting's all I do these days. Could've been paying more attention. We probably needed to get 500. Uh, I would recommend trading venom, venom stones for smithing stones. The venom stones are only used to forge poisonous weapons, such as the venom sword, and you seem to have it at a large quantity and you don't use it often. Oh, thanks, Arthurian. Don't think this- They don't tend to be as strong as the main weapon, so that's why I haven't really been Best using them that much. expectations low. So that might be worth it. Dang, we're gonna have to do that one again. Oh well. Huh? What's? Oh, we haven't oh, been here in a while. It's a dream. What's up, Larva? Why do you always settle for such simple reasoning? You know this is more than a fabrication of your sleep-addled mind. Our first reunion in who knows how long, and you try to write me off as a figment of your imagination? Hmm. I mean, I just saw you at camp, but all right. Sorry about that, though I was definitely asleep last I checked. Anyway, what do you want? To warn you, something is troubling me eating away at me, actually. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I can sense a presence closing in on you. A dangerous one. Guess who the presence is? The Ashen is. Demon, right? This wouldn't be your first warning about that one. Mm, that might be it. Or is it Sothis? Perhaps the two of you will square off in battle soon. Good. Because this time, I'm gonna win. I have to. Fortunately, I'm pretty used to these powers of yours by now. Then I'll let myself stay just a tiny bit optimistic. Just don't forget that your opponent has had as much time to grow as you. Great. Your future isn't the only one at stake here. The demon could also put an end to Edelgard's vision with as little as one swing of a sword. Whatever happens, we can't let all our hard work be undone. Since when have you been such a warrior? I've got this. Trust me. 
I mean, that wasn't really what I was going for, but I all right. I won't let anything happen. Not to Edelgard or to the others. What do you mean? I'm always worried about you. After all, you're my... Yeah, yeah, I'm your partner in destiny. <laughs> I finally got you to say it! <sighs> How wonderful! Thanks for that, Larva. Manuela wants to go on an expedition. Yo, there it is. That's what we needed. Visited a residence on the edge of town. The scholar living there welcomed What's you in. You? These are books I've collected. I'd be willing to give them to you if you, if any among you are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. Crestological mysteries? I don't know what that does. We need to get S rank to get that. Dude, that key does a bad bitch. Be careful. <laughs> Can these children that live in people's brains at least put shoes on? <laughs> nah, they can't do it. All of a sudden, Hanneman's playable. <laughs> Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facility. That would have been very funny. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Um, so we can do three. Set up a training dummy that can be used by a variety of classes. Increases training slots to six. Take a highly difficult certification exam. Unlocks an advanced class. Procure finer quality training equipment, reducing maintenance costs. Reduce the cost of leveling up. And then these. Well, we're going to focus on the top three. veteran training gear for this yeah let me know if i may be of further service supplies are the lifeblood of any army oh i do have quite a few of these i'm gonna just start with trading like 60 It was not a lot of materials, ma'am. I'm just saying. Everything has its use. All right. Let's go train and um, upgrade. Oh wait, I need to buy seals first. I can only buy three. Although hopefully if we get Anna, I carry a little we'll be able to buy some here. from her. You've got an eye for quality, friend. I sure do. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. All right. Training can be the difference. Check out these advanced classes. All right. So, Fortress Knight, Warrior, Wyvern Rider, Warlock. All right, well, we're gonna go Warlock then. I always strive to improve. You don't start waiting to watch these streams after you beat the next map section because I'll be behind by then. I want to beat the game myself first. After the next map section? I don't know. I'm slow. You might be able to get ahead of me, Umbreon's. <laughs> Swordmaster. I'm doing well. How are you? Another tool in the belt. Um, that's fine.
Oh, Trickster is after Assassin. Trickster's a master class. I don't remember if it was considered a master class before. You mean the next battle in the map, not the end of the chapter? Oh, gotcha. With advanced classes, your combos now go up to 6... X or 5... <clears throat> 5X plus Y. And it's where it starts to get broken. Hmm. Interesting. I'm a master of reinvention. Yes. All right. Um, that was funny. Kind of upgrading the people I use the most first. The Abyss classes had their own category. Right. I was going to say, I didn't think they were master classes. I just want to go home. Oh, Bernie. All right, so I used all my seals. Let's train. I'm gonna have Edelgard finish. Um, freeze, because I want her to get kinship. And Hubert, we're working on getting arms thrift. Dorothea the Thief class. Well, this is a new look for me. Can't wait to see how you do. can be the difference between victory and defeat. I think put Dorothy and Huber together and Edelgard and Ferd together. Also gets kinship, so we can work on that preferred. I think these two are pretty close to a support. All oh, right, we have another slot now. Nice.
Okay, so Bernie got kingship. I think Bernie and Happy. Changing up my style. Uh, we don't, I don't think we need to change it, but we can train. All right, looks good. A middling performance, but acceptable. This power will serve me in the times to come. Can't wait to get back out there. Can't let this power go unused. Caspar mastered his. GG Caspar. Well, forcing everyone to become monks so I can get kinship. It's fine. Good job, Bernie. Together isn't always easy. All the kinship, exactly. I need more strength than this. Prowess means nothing without resolve. <laughs> Can't wait to get back out there. Hey, anything that makes me stronger. Time right. to work you so in. I gotta boost them up to priest. I don't know if Balthus's class is in this. Because well, we don't have Dark Flyer. I think we may just have Trickster. Mastered his. Okay. Dude, I gotta get by more With proper training. You'll be unstoppable. Excited for advanced classes. Me too. I wish we could get more seals. Quality, friend. But Hope to see you again soon. No, I cannot. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. This dude is so intense. Hope there are DL hope those are DLCs, that'd be awesome. Gaze upon my splendid finery. Yeah, I think she did have um, some other seals when we found her last time, so hopefully we can catch her and get more advanced seals. There'll probably also be like um, S rank rewards. They often do that. We are brimming with excellence. Wow, perfect. What a fascinating power. Nice. This is suitable. Hey, anything that makes me stronger. I imagine this will serve me well. We're putting him through the paces. <laughs> Keep working. No breaks. Power 
won't go unused. To think I still have hidden talents. This is part of me now. Only thorns left on this rose. This should come in handy. Little garden bird got to a bee. Nice. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. The power of friendship. Can't wait to try this out. Forgot Lorenz has an affinity for magic because I never use him. Well. Could just wait and save your points for when you get your seal soon. Yeah, but I mean, I'm going to be using them so they'll level up their classes as I use them. A lot of these are level ups for like abilities that I want. But I see your point, Butter. Yeah. I'd say we both exceeded my expectations. I need more strength than this. I see that a mule will eventually reach its destination. Constance? The grind is real. I doubt this will change anything. No oh, Constance. Capable of so much more. Can't wait to get back out there. I imagine this will serve me well. Which Constance do you prefer? I mean, Time I like them both. You but Can't wait to see how you for do. her sake, it's nice when she's happy. kinship in there. Mm. This is new. Nullify status effects inside areas created by Armor Knight and Fortress Knight class actions. Alright, so she can't use that now, but once we switch her... To uh, Swordmaster, she'll be able to get that back, which is good. Poor Ash. Renz also does not have uh, a lot of abilities. Arms. 
Well, we don't need strength right now. to upgrade new recruits, unfortunately. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if I have enough to... Go to the um, tactics instructor. My oh, I think we have to upgrade before we can do anything else. Standard combat manual. Don't mm. neglect your daily studies. My format. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. No, I just went there. Everything has its use. Okay, bye. Also tend not to use Alois Gilbert and in the Ashen Wolves barely only use Constance. That's fair. I mean, there's a lot of characters, so it's kind of hard to use them all. I do like that you can just level them up. You can buy the levels, makes Allow things me easier. Allow to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Allows for a higher unique support ability level. Hmm. Allows crest level to be increased one tier at the Tactics Academy. Well. We're gonna do uh, eight ability slots. Let me know if I may be of further service. My instruction comes at a high price. Okay, well, good to know that you are charging too much. Neglect your daily studies. All right. Those to Dorothea. of abilities. <laughs> Manuela wants to go on an expedition, huh? I was gonna wait until Kat was here, but 
Manuel wants to go now, so... Cats SOL. That one law. I'm glad you got a lot of daggers strapped to her leg. Oh, are you taking me somewhere we can be alone? It sounds as if the birds are singing their cute little song just for us. Ma'am, you're very cleavage forward. My beautiful singing voice is a gift from the goddess herself. A gift I would very much like to share. Compliment. Thank you. <laughs> Are you taking me somewhere to seduce me, right? My ideal partner. Hmm. Well, someone who would clean my room without complaining, I suppose. Say that love solves everything. <laughs> I know the river of time flows the same for everyone, but I still feel like I'm trapped in its rapids more often than not. Compliment how ageless she looks. Thank you. Conversation is wildly engaging. Easy. <laughs> wow. All right. mind if you want to gaze a bit but don't look too close hmm time hasn't been the kindest to my skin you know Manuela you're like 35 okay there was once a time when I let my hair grow out but it's been as short as this for quite a while now less maintenance and such you know it's rude to ogle dear someone really needs Oops. to teach you a few manners Manuela, I feel like you enjoy being ogled, though. And flirted with. <sighs> Poppies are weird. Well, this puts a smile on my face. <gasps> I quite enjoyed our time together. See you soon. Yo, does this mean we could take Ray on an expedition? <laughs> when we play Blue Lions? <laughs> oh man. I hope so. B rank friend one. Can you imagine that conversation? Oh, they only talk again in an A support, okay. Edelgard is locked. Dorothea is also locked? Oh, well, at least we have a few now. Instead, Rhea's like, would you like a better view, dude? <laughs> The goddess is watching. Ugh. Like, thank you for pointing that out, Rhea. Ah, it's horrible! Uh, what is happening? Bernadetta, what's wrong? Is there a rat in the base? Wait. A rat? Nobody told me about a rat! Oh no, oh no, oh no! It's gonna nibble on all my snacks! Uh, 
What, 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 what? Sorry, I think I kind of threw you off track there. What's horrible exactly? Well, you see, there was this lady in the camp earlier who didn't look scary at all and even seemed kind of nice. Was it that shady mage? Or was it Anna? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shyness and fear of strangers got you down, huh? I knew it. Let's see if I have something that can help. Thanks. Wait, are you gonna give her drugs, Anna? Mm -hmm. I think I've got. Anna's doing here. back alley drug deals. It's gonna put you out a good few gold coins, but this baby will do wonders for relieving stress. Anna, and you should not then, be promoting drug use. Ah, I've got something a little more, shall we say, tasteful. Real under the table kind of stuff. It's a pot that makes people like you. Ma'am? I would probably recommend against it, but the thing's on sale if you really want it. Uh, you okay there? What is happening? I just remembered something. Oh, how could you forget, Bernie? There are lots of scary people out there who pretend to look nice just so they can prey on you. Good job, Bernie. And you must be one of them! He's not wrong. Well, that was weird. I'm not that scary, am I? I, I mean... Bernie says no to drugs. And that's how it all happened. I would have been dragged off and murdered if it wasn't for you. But wasn't that just Anna? She's here all the time selling her wares. If she was here, she should have I mean, sold me some intermediate or stuff, some advanced seals. I don't seals. think she's trying to cheat anyone. And she's definitely not a murderer. Mm, I think she's trying to cheat people. This is all my fault. I should go apologize to her later. Huh? She's not evil? Not that I know of. I'm also pretty sure it's not the first time you've met her. I don't know. Not evil, but she's not exactly is. trustworthy either. You're pretty judgmental, you know that? Huh? She might be a little evil. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? How about this? There's this merc I've got in my crew. A real terrifying looking hunk of muscle. Sweetest little teddy bear on the inside, though. If anyone's gonna help you overcome this, it's him. We don't have Raphael. Okay, I accept this challenge. You've got this, Bernie. Also, there's like 50 Annas. Yeah, which one did you talk to? That's important. Oh, Bernie and Happy. Looks like there's lots of bugs around here. Go on and eat a bunch and grow nice and big plants. Hey, Bernie B. Doing a little garden care? Huh? Oh, uh, Bernie yes. B. Do you need something, Happy? Oh, wait. Wait! Are you here to finish me off and turn me into fertilizer? No! I'm completely devoid of nutritional content. I'm basically just air. <laughs> no, but if you want to be fertilizer that badly, I'm certain it could be arranged. I, I just happy. wanted to mention how I'm surprised to find carnivorous plants growing here. I was curious who was taking care of them, and now I seem to have found my answer. Yeah, carnivorous plants are my favorites. And mine as well. I had no idea we were such kindred spirits. That's so great! Aww, I never Bernie's thought I'd find another friend. carnivorous plant lover in all of Fulblen. Yay! You really don't need to yell like that. So, which one do you like best, Bernie B? There's a lot to consider after all. The aroma, the texture, the way you prepare it. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Some smell nice, and some are just soft as all get out. Uh, but the way they're I don't think prepared, Bernie's gonna like that. Like, how you take care of them? Hmm. I Happy suppose there's them, a lot Bernie. of variants there, too. Indeed. So, of the ones here, which is your favorite? Maybe... this one. The one that looks like a jug. I like that one as well. 
smells divine. And the experience really changes depending on what kind of berries you stuff it with. Can't say I've ever thought to stuff it full of berries, but I definitely see how that would change things. Oh, but I also like this one here with the leaves that act like a mouth. They're so teensy and cute, and they blossom with white flowers. I could just stare at them all day. Interesting. I always pick them before the flowers can bloom, so I didn't know that. Aren't the buds wonderful? Of course, wrapping with leaves is great, too. Yeah, the buds are unusual. I love them. And it's fun watching the leaves move. I'm happy you like watching them as much as me. She doesn't, Bernie. Watching. She likes to eat them. Huh? In any case, now we know we like the same ones. We should have a bite together next chance we get. Anyway, I have to be off. See ya. Yep. Next time we'll go out together and... Um... Get something to eat? I... Oh no. Yes, that sounds nice. Is their next support going to be Bernie horrified as she watches Happy eat one of them? Probably. This can only lead to good things. I still can't win. Hey, coming to a draw with the almighty king of grapplings, not a bad result. After all, you've got a disadvantage. But with our size difference and all. Okay, but don't you have the disadvantage of our age difference? Hey, I'm not that old. Caspar, you're gonna get punched. And I'm not that short. I've actually grown a lot in these last two years. Give me a little time and I'll be towering over you. Not sure you've got a growth spurt left in you at your age. And I'm a pretty big guy. What did you say? Oh, you want another piece? Let's go! <sighs> Didn't win... again! <laughs> another draw! You don't know... when to quit! We're not getting anywhere fighting with Is our Is this fists. a fair fight? Caspar is wearing full armor. Yeah. You're right. I'm pretty much at my limit. So, what's next? Balthus is wearing a chest. Better make belt? it something where we can compete on equal footing. Naturally. Well, beyond fists, there's money, there's ladies. How are you going to compete with money? All you do is complain about not having any. And ladies? That doesn't even make sense. I mean, unless you want us to dress up in ladies' clothes and compete to see who looks better. You're really not understanding this, are you? Stop! You're annoying! Also, this break gave me time to get my energy back. So put them up! It's back to fists! Better hope your body oh, can pay bar. the bill your mouth keeps running up. Not Caspar's yeah. fault, both this likes to go tits out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that ended where it began. Oh my gosh, these two nobles. Let's see how it goes. So you seek to block my path, do you? Do you challenge me? <laughs> if so, be warned. None can hope to stand against me in a staring contest. That's a cat, Constance. Begin! That did not sound you like a cat. You are a gracious loser to accept defeat so readily. Ahem. 
I am hesitant even to ask, but what are you doing? Ah, if it isn't Lawrence spying on me, hmm? <laughs> Well, if you must know, an insolent feline was blocking my path and challenged me to a staring contest. However, we determined the winner quite readily. Were you witness to my victory? Were you not once a noble? I was, yes, and still am so at heart. In the future, you will see me as both the head of House Nouvelle and the world's finest mage! Then it seems I must adjust my perception of you. I always knew you to be a striking beauty who possesses a keen talent for magic. I was even considering you as a candidate for marriage, should you happen oh, to Lorenz, reform your house. no. But now, to find you competing with a house cat... Uh, I beg your pardon. Pray disregard my words. I was even considering to marry you. To consider a woman as a mate and subsequently disqualify her in the following sentence is staggering. Staggering, I tell you. I gotta agree, Constance. You are a coarse, vulgar, indecent bore. And were I ever under consideration Get for him, your Constance. marriage, I hereby withdraw any and all possible interest. Also, you are the head of House Gloucester, yes? Why would I ever hope to marry into a house of such meager standing? Damn! How dare you? The magnificent <laughs> House Gloucester is anything but meager! I do dare, and have done! <laughs> and while I know not of your status within Leicester, House Nouvelle is steeped in tradition, with a bloodline closely guarded and unbroken. I find it hard to believe that joining your house is worth uprooting that. Well now, I can hardly back down from words such as those. We of Gloucester are legitimate descendants of one of the ten elites and inheritors of a hero's relic. I have news for you about that. At the Alliance Round Table. Why, we are among the most distinguished houses in the whole of Leicester. We are no less valuable than House Nouvelle, who, may I add, were condemned to extinction by the previous emperor. <laughs> it seems our allegations are doomed to never reach a point of agreement. Then I suppose we have no choice but to compete. Oh my that God. we may determine which of us is superior. Choose whatever battlefield you wish, Lawrence. I shall ever be the agent of your doom. <laughs> Constance just out lorenz Lorenz. Can you imagine Edelgard walking by and being like, oh God, not again. Constantly having the nobles fight with each other, and she's like, this is why I'm dismantling nobility. I hope all of their supports are just roasting contests. Edelgard's been there, done that with Bird. Yeah, and she's just like... Is that? And well, you can do better. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're getting along great with the soldiers now. Maybe it's because they can finally see your face. I have never been they concerned can't. with how others view <laughs> He's me. wearing his mask. But if you say so, then perhaps it's true. You have always been perceptive. Even back at Garrig Mark. My, you yes, she figured me. you out. An honor you noticed when you me you stabbed at her. Hmm. Yes, that's it. All we need is that one finishing touch. Finishing touch? Yes, there's something you're missing. Do you know what it is, Yuritsa? She says a girl on your arm.
Too bad, time's up. The answer is a smile. Yes. No, we are not. We are not out here telling people to smile, Manuela. How dare you? Your cool demeanor has a certain charm. Don't tell people to smile. But if you smile like I do, people will also, be naturally drawn to you. Also, I feel like smiling would just scare people. It would also make it easier to talk to your peers and subordinates. Wouldn't you like that? No. <laughs> no. Oh, no need to be shy. It couldn't hurt, right? And it doesn't just work on people. Animals will be more comfortable around you, too. Animals. Like cats. <laughs> of course. Cats, dogs, <laughs> even fish. Or cats and flock to you in droves. Fish. I don't think if you smile at a fish. Sounds good, right? It's gonna, now, when it comes to smiling, the gonna, important uh, thing is to move follow you your around. mouth. And your demeanor will suffer if you're always mumbling. So keep that in mind, okay? All right, let's try it out. Give me your best shot on three. I hope One, it's horrifying. Two, three. That was unsatisfying. <laughs> it I'm seems disappointed. being a teacher was your calling. A teacher? That's not really what I was going for. Yeah, I wanted something like this. This must be why I'm still single. Why didn't he do I that? I don't think you need to change. I mean, that was nice of him to say, but their their support chain is over. That's it. Which I'm glad for. I don't I don't ship them. I don't want them together. And they never talked again. Exactly. I'm just disappointed in Manuela's lack of supports. Alright, well, that was all of them. Don't think Yuritsa wants to be in a relationship, Manuela. No, I don't think he does. the true enemy let's make food Nice. Yeah, the flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Well. No. Oh. Did you really? Oh, you did. This is my absolute favorite. Thank you. This surprise pleases me. How did you know I would have enjoyment of this? I just knew. Come back whenever you're hungry. My cheese burns the food. Excuse me. May I ask for your ear? Sure thing. What's on your mind? I have the desire to be learning more about mercenaries. It is a subject of much fascination to me. Uh, sure, I guess. But I think you've heard most of the exciting bits by now. Nonsense. Each word you speak is full of excitement. Please give me more illumination. For example, are you receiving payment for your work here? Sure, me and Edelgard have a contract. Lucrative one too, as these things go. 
Guess the boss thinks pretty highly of me. You said money was of importance for people who sell their swords. But what if an enemy offered a bigger payment? Would you be taking it? Are you offering, Petra? You need more than that to get a true Merc to switch sides. Still, if an enemy can outbid your current employer, it means they've got a good shot at winning. And nobody who enjoys breathing wants to wind up on the losing side. So in Fodlin, he definitely gets paid way better be than Pilot did at the monastery. Has more richness. See, that's the thing. Trust is its own currency too. I mean, let's say someone shows up with a pile of gold and asks you to switch sides. Tempting, right? But you got to be careful. You could take them up on their offer, only to learn that the money was just bait, and the guy actually wants you dead. And to make things worse, the honest employer you just stabbed in the back now knows you're as reliable as a three-legged horse. Point is, integrity means more to a mercenary than money. Probably should have led with that, actually. I have understanding. Trust is of importance to everyone. But that has even more truth for a seller of swords. You got it. Oh, and trust me, folks who hire for the best jobs make sure to know everything about you before extending the offer. But there's a flip side to that coin. If you're the type of employer who likes to leave mercs in the lurch, you better believe that word will get around. Hard enough to stay alive without that nonsense. That is a thing we all share in common. We wish to keep breathing, as you said. And what if I was offering a job? We are on the same side. Would that be betrayal? Bridget is a land of richness. We can offer much in exchange for the selling of your sword. Sounds tempting, but uh, I can't. I've got to see my current contract through first. Also, didn't we just get done discussing how terrible it is to abandon a job before it's done? <laughs> that feels like a test, Petra. I knew you would be declining. You are the model of a mercenary. You. I'm going to save some of these points in case other people decide they want to go on an expedition randomly. Time to work you into shape. Oh, that's too much. You have to be strong if you want to protect people. I'll just do some small boosts. That was a fluke. Potential is so much greater. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. That's the plan. Which battlefield are you headed to? Reach Gloucester Territory. The Alliance Army is using a stronghold in Gloucester Territory to obstruct the Imperial Army's advance. Sack it! All right. Gain control of all strongholds, okay?
show you what a mercenary can do. Hubert is not ready to fight, so we'll bring Hubert. over with. I want to try out some of the new classes. So we've got um, Cheese as a Swordmaster, Manuela as an Assassin, and Bernie as a Sniper. I'm going to switch her weapon though. Starts now. It can happen every time you clear a region. So like one of these battles, you mean? In my room. Yeah, we can win this. It's Bernie's time to shine. All right. Look, it's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this prepare to be amazed. Go for it. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I would not a problem. I've got this. Ash isn't your type. <laughs> the mixture of his voice and his looks make him sound super young like he's 12. You don't find freckles attractive. Um Ash always gave me like little brother vibes. I really love Ash, but I don't, yeah, I don't really see him as like a romantic interest. Sure. Already. Please let us take this place down. Sword of Hide. We have of you. these defenses crippled in short order. Get wrecked. He's Bernie. I think we got him, guys. If you, yeah, I would agree. Like, very much like, little sister must protect. Got him. Give them no quarter. A messenger appeared somewhere. Okay. Messengers advancing to call for reinforcement. Bowling Otter, thank you so much for the raid. How are you guys doing? Sniper Bernie is a delay in any game. She is. How was your stream? Not a problem. Did not tell me who the messenger is? Hey everybody, we're playing um, some Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, which is like a Dynasty Warriors kind of game. Right then. Hmm. <laughs> I, I will see my. Not say not the messenger was, this. unless it's saying they're over here. Oh, well, 
out there. Find and defeat the messenger. So you're not gonna tell me where the messenger is. I see. It's first How it time is. to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. DJ, thank you for shouting out Bowling Otter. They're just chatting. Sounds fun. Go for the spotlight is mine. Ah, the strong <laughs> Watch Hellraiser, how was it? Taking this. Thanks. Is it good? <laughs> Enemy Commander Regan General appeared. You're just a rando. You almost feel sorry for them. Beat the general and claim victory. Well, how many kills do we need? 500, okay. That can wait for a little bit. This guy doesn't deserve epic music. This exact Bernadette line sync with my game. Oh my gosh, perfect. You failed to defeat the messenger. War will be over. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's right there. Hubert, kill him. Right there. I will see my duty done. Not a problem. You can kill him too. I've got Everybody this. kill him. And Bernie's just up here. That's fine. Let's go. Kill the messenger. Messenger defeated. Worthy of applause. Yeah. We need to kill a lot more. Right. So let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my dear. It's Bernie's time to sh sure hope this goes okay. Not a problem. I've got this. I'm gonna try to lead everyone away from him. <laughs> Hopefully I can just keep working on his minions. Now. More minions. Take this. Go help right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Not a problem. I've got this. You can help out, cheese. <laughs> Take this. Take this. All eyes 
over there and go for it. Sure. Are you sure? Uh, no. <laughs> I need to see Bernie. You got this, Bernie. This will shift the situation in our favor. This guy's bouncing all around. Okay, got enough enemies. Now we can go attack this friend. Sure hope this goes okay. No, <laughs> the spotlight is mine. Hubert thought you were controlling him for a second. He did. He sure did think that. Uh, yeah. oh, no, you <laughs> Oh, I'm alive! Which means I can finally go home. Sweet. <laughs> That's a mood, Bernie. One day the war will be over. Check me out, gentlemen. Not that there's any point in me Yo. getting stronger. You kill more people in one mission in this game than in an entire standard Fire Emblem game. You bumped into a merchant who happens to frequent your camp. I brought you some goods that just came in. I'll have to charge you for them, but I guarantee you'll find them useful. Yes, I will. Thank you. There's a dance being held in a nearby town. We've got room for one more pair to join. Are you interested? All right. Morale up. I thought that might give them support points, but I guess not. A well-connected merchant says he would love to back your army's cause. Uh -huh. I would love to support you in your cause any way I can. It isn't much, but please take these. Yes. Oh, I have to get S here, I guess. Not just anywhere. That makes sense. Linhart wants to go on an ex expedition? All right. I guess. Anna, get back here. Yeah, you'd think she'd want to sell her stuff here. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. you to visit waterfront the waterfront on expeditions do that one first we'll 
do that and that. Let me know if I may be of further service. How many more do we need to Allow level me to up? Assist with that. Let me okay. know if I may be of further service. I, I got it, buddy. He wants to go on an expedition to mattress firm. <laughs> Damn. My instruction comes. You're not wrong. Price. Okay, enhance unique action ability. Gain a chance to perform a few attacks. Oh, okay. So let me just do that for everybody. This is how we lose all our money, I think. Sure is. Don't neglect you your daily studies. Are charging too much. Highway robbery. This is worse than Anna. This is the place where all the money disappears. I see that. That is gonna be a problem. Listen. Told. It gets worse as more recruits come along. Yeah, because then you have to like, you have to buy the previous Actually, I'd upgrades. Actually, I nap. Do you mind if I curl up somewhere when we arrive at our destination? He's just staring at him. Let's go Can't to we just have a nap instead? No. You could probably grind some money along with sports off stream with Baltus. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. You've arrived at the bank of a breathtaking lake. Serenity hangs thick in the air. You can almost taste it. That's not not too close to the water, all right. I prefer sleep to drowning. The aristocracy often meets in the imperial capital. So I recognized many of the other students when I first arrived at the academy. That you don't care? Envy him for having such old friends listen politely? Can you imagine saying you don't care? Um... I feel like... Listen politely? Where's the nap option? You think it's envy? I would guess listen. Come to think of well, it. Well, it wasn't listen. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about you so intently that I lost track of the conversation. What, what were you saying? Pretend to be asleep? Crack a joke. Answer him honestly. Um, this is gonna be an epic fail, isn't it? I feel like pretend to be asleep is baiting me. Not as hard as Yuritsa. Half of his are just some variant of be silent. Well, what's your best guess for this? Answer him honestly? I mean, that's what I would do, but I trust nothing. Makes sense. Well, let's rest here a bit longer. Also, horseback riding really should be classified as heavy labor. Thanks. Well, that was more excitement than. This is why we save scum. For moments like that. Well, 
plot is actually quite difficult, I hear. Great. They're all difficult. <laughs> Manuela was the easiest one, which I guess makes sense, but still. Truth be told. This is why I benched you, Lynn. Actually, I'd prefer a nap. Can't we just have yeah, a nap while we're going instead? to the first one? Oh well. No? I don't know if that changes anything, aside from just aesthetics. All the responses should just be, do you want to sleep? And it's this always... Is certainly a peace. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Take two. Oh, mind if I catch some shut-eye? I feel so safe with you, I can't help myself. Go to sleep, too. Oh, I'm exhausted. How is that not the right answer? Did you not want to take a nap together? I thought for certain you would have a crest, but no. I still find that so strange. Offer to help him research. Say it's not that strange. Nod. There's flavor text that could be lore-ish, like Edelgard alludes to water-related trauma if you take her to the waterfront. Hmm. Just do whatever. <laughs> Thanks in advance. Okay, he wants he wants research. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about you so intently that I lost track of the conversation. What were you saying? What? Okay, so he wants to hear a joke. And her doesn't seem like someone that who likes jokes. was more excitement jokes. than I'm used to, but I did have fun. Okay, so we got two that time. I mean, nothing if not persistent. Just do whatever. <laughs> I can hear the disdain and great joy. Do whatever. Listen. Truth be told. Actually, yeah, you're stuck I... in this loop now. Can't we just have a nap instead? <laughs> no? Yeah, go talk to Aloise if you want a joke. Do you think all of his answers are going to be puns? This is certainly a... Have you ever right. been to Hebring Territory? No, don't give me a different the question. The tower sits in a steep valley, and the slopes are simply impossible. What? Excuse me. Hiding, probably? Makes sense. All right. That's what I was thinking, Great Destroyer. I was like, well, should, which one? Because either that one or the horses, because that would make the traveling easier. I'm fond of the little silences you often get in the middle of conversations. Stop asking me new questions. Or saying new things to me. Stay silent. Find it awkward and say something. Okay, well that's not right. Or nod. Silence equals easier to sleep. That's all I got. I could also see you just nodding because you're not saying anything. Do 
You could try questions next time. You have to do an expedition because you can actually pick them, whereas talk is randomized. So they're the same ones each time, Butter? This one is tough. Excellent. Okay. That was an eeny meeny miny mo thing. <laughs> the aristocracy often meets in the imperial capital, so I recognized many of the other students when I first arrived at the academy. Listen. Ha! Yeah, perfect conversation by ass. <laughs> hmm? I look sleepy. No, I am sleepy. I've missed two naps already since dawn. Hmm. I've had that tie really for hard quite for some you. time. Someone did my hair up while I was sleeping. <laughs> I barely remember it. That do, do you the have book a ghost? Is utterly fascinating. Especially the parts in the old tongue that I can't decipher. They give you like six questions. I think the questions are the same, but there are more than six topics. Okay. I have a feather. Now this is simply delightful. Someone gave him the hairdo while he was sleeping and he just kept it. Is that, that implying that he never takes it down to. though? But I did have fun. Let's do it again. All right. Ah, it is you. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. I want to boost Hubert to Dark Mage. He's living his best life. One cannot achieve victory without challenge. Do I can't use this? Doesn't count? That's kind of dumb, but all right. Hubert's warrior gauge attack always makes me laugh when he's a dark mage. Dark mage is fun, like it far more than the other mage class attack. It's hard to feel bright in the sun. I demand further strength. All right, buddy. I 
Interesting that Balthus gets Seraphim um, just from, I think, Priest or Monk. He gets it pretty early. You can't do the job without the outfit. Training, you you'll be unstoppable. Hugging night, Kayla. Can't wait for curse supports tomorrow. Oh, you're probably gonna Which get them. Which battlefield are you headed to? Imperial Army's rear guard fell behind and has been cut off. Hurry to their aid before they're wiped out. Inverted tome? What does that mean? The pages are the cover? Need the brawler and the other enemies. Beast is routed. All right. Another step toward victory. Another day, another stage to conquer. Uh, I guess we're going girl squad then. That works. Give happy feel to me. I think I got a better axe for Caspar. Yeah. Man, they did not come with good weapons. <laughs> Sell some of these iron weapons. The fight starts now. Girl squad minus Hubert. This is my safe place, and I won't let it fall. We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. When would I ever be reckless? Need the brawler and their allies. Okay. 
Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. Leave this one to me. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. That's my cue. Here goes. You go this way. the summoner within the time limit to stop some to stop the summoning what are they summoning leave this one to me that's my cue sure hope already i'm not afraid of you damn bernie now hubert and monica can be jelly together Fighting's all I do these days. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. I can't believe that worked. Cheese has a lot going on down here. Yeah, go help them out, Bernie. They must watch this. All would be lost if I were to die here. How does that please you? Brawler and a priest arrived. Of course they did. They must learn who they're up against. Who's Bernie at? Bernie's it's here. Bernie's time He's to trying shine. to get there. Sure we can hope go this there. goes okay. Alright, I'm gonna jump to Dorothea to take That's out the summoner. Here goes! Like that's it for us. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Two of them can go over there, and then I'm gonna jump to cheese. I've got. To take a breath. Who loved it? Cheese. Yeah, not bad. Need five hundred though. We did it. The back. I'm sorry, but I gotta fall back. Enemy commander Goneril General appeared. Oh, again, you're. You're just Looks a like rando. You got one tough fight on your hands. Victory conditions have changed. Okay, well, we still need to take out a lot of guys, so. It's for sure. Hope this goes wait. okay. Not a problem. I've got this. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. All right. 
We're at like halfway. They must watch this. The stronghold's out. Looks like that's it for us. Girl is Turner fell, enraging them. I'd rather be attacked. It's the same one as before, he just reclassed. They must learn who they're up against. I've got my turn. Alright. Um. What? On to the next one. Kinda look like we sent them Show to a hell dimension. Striking the guardhouse. Bernie defeated the brawler. Good job, Bernie. Five mission successful, nice. Okay, we're almost there. We're doing okay with time, too. They must all take over. Success was to be expected. Alright, we're good. They must learn who they're up against. Are you sure? <laughs> we're sure, Bernie. Bernie, get him. I can tell if Dorothy had jumped or if she was just like needed. All this work makes me want to take a break. Can you please just don't attack this place again? Inverted tomb. I won't let myself stop here. Yeah, not bad. Oh, look at that. Tomb that deals physical damage instead of magical damage. Interesting. That might work well for Edelgard, maybe? Money bags, too. 
I don't feel like I have a lot of money considering I spent so much of it. Oh, Anna's here. Greetings. I found some real treasures again today. I'll be setting up shop at your camp, so look for me there. You can now visit Anna's shop and camp. I see. Thank you for your assistance. Please, please allow us yes. to join you. Their magic skills will be of great use. We must position them well for optimal support of the troops. Imperial Holy Blessing. Your army is retreating. You help them and recover some supplies that were left behind. Nice. You met a scholar who is conducting research in a remote location. They opt to share some of the crops they're researching. What say you? I'm not sure of the health benefits yet. Why don't you take one and find out? Pomegranate. I mean, we already have those, so... It won't because she has higher magic stats. You'll get an axe later on that does the same thing, though, and that'll be good for her when you want her in her unique class. Okay. Um. So, these battles here... Or not battles, but like... Um, serving spots. I'm assuming they're gonna keep counting down even if I were to do, like, even if I were to do these over. They don't count down if you redo a map already captured? They only go down with new locations. Okay, that's really good to know because I was a little worried about grinding off stream if that counter was going to keep happening. Hey, hey Anna. Anna. Greetings. Not sure I've got anything stocked in the way of tools for breaking a brutal siege, sadly. Still, I'd be in a real mess if I lost a valued customer like you, so take your time and look around. Welcome. Is that the one? Is that the one? It is the one. She's gonna be here for the rest of the chapter, I think, soon. so... I'm gonna wait. I need more money, dude. Hello, Anna, please don't sell drugs again! Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Increases the types of gifts that can be bought. Reduces the cost of gifts. Probably gonna do that. Increases the types of weapons. Increases gold gained when winning a battle. Yes. We need that. Maybe she still has some tiki merch left over. Reduces cost of gifts. Adds more personnel to the supply squad. Increases the amount of materials that are collected. Increases the types of tradable items. G gain more smithing stones when delivering goods. Reduces the number of smithing stones requ required to trade. Do that. I need five more storage chests. I may be Might be able to get service. that. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army.
average chest. Everything has its that use. Do it then. Allow Hello. me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Gain more smithing stones when delivering goods. I'm gonna do that. Let Nine me more. Know if I may be of further service. Let's head to the training instructor. Time to work you into shape. Okay. We're gonna make her a grappler. Wow, that is that is a look, Bird. Giving less than one's all is unacceptable. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> Teaching. <laughs> well, don't I look splendid? Ridiculous, thanks. I hate it. You're welcome. Bird is ready to punch anyone who disses the yeah, iron feels name. Like me. You're welcome. I hope you're enjoying. So Fur got kinship. <laughs> Essence of fire. Causes fire-based combat arts, magic, strong attacks, and class actions to instead produce a more powerful version of that attack? Oh, everyone's fucking dead then, because... <laughs> well, F. As soon as she gets that... It's over. Good night, Toko. You gotta work tomorrow. <sighs> I've seen good luck. Training can be. Can't wait to see how you do. Oh, we got an award. Well, how'd it go? Secret transport force. And a secret weapon in her eternal effort to maintain the highest profit margins? Grants one tier greater advantage against enemies equipped with swords. Reduce damage from them by 55%. Any results a good result. Mm -hmm.
Was that a battalion? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I need to be at a B. Is he elite still? I don't know if he's there yet. There he is. Oh, he can use it. There's cheese and Linhart with support. Does she kill other merchants? Uh, um, I wouldn't put it past Anna. Really? Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna save, um, maybe do some grinding off stream if I have time that we're ready for next week. The next stream of uh, Three Hopes should be on Tuesday, most likely, because um, tomorrow we're doing Fire Emblem Awakening. So if you want more Fire Emblem, but a change of pace, you can join us for that. We've got some more cursed supports coming, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> 